everybody and welcome to Music with Meg. I'm Meg and today we're learning about Baroque music. Everybody music with Meg. Now Baroque was a period of music between 1600 and 1750 and lots of very famous composers wrote during this time. You might recognise music by J.S. Bach, Vivaldi, and Handel. In the Baroque era, instruments were different from today, which meant that they had very different timbres. Instead of the piano, Harpsichords were commonly used, as well as organs, which had two different sounds. Even stringed instruments were different. They were made with gut strings rather than steel strings, which gave them a very different sound. Now, lots of new types of music were being created. In the Baroque era, opera became popular. Before the Baroque period, in the Renaissance era, composers often wrote polyphonic music. Now, polyphonic music is when more than one melody is playing at the same time. In fact, it was very popular in the Renaissance era for lots of different vocal lines to be happening at the same time, with different rhythms and sometimes even different lyrics. You can hear a lot of this in Renaissance church music. It wasn't so important for the audience to be able to hear what was being sung about. However, in opera, the audience need to know what the singer is singing about. And so, composers began to use melody and accompaniment. Now, composers also began to write concertos. A concerto is a long piece of music written for a soloist and an orchestra. Now, concertos are made up of lots of movements and each movement explores a different theme or mood. Music written in the Baroque era often has a melody and a bass accompaniment on an instrument such as the cello or the harpsichord. Now often Baroque composers wouldn't write out the bass line in full, which meant that the bass musician would improvise the chords and the melodies that they played. And this is called basso continuo or continuous bass. Now the melody in Baroque music often uses ornamentation. Now this is when the composer writes the melody and the musician is free to improvise around the notes of the melody whilst making sure that the melody stays in time with the rest of the music. Nowadays, ornamentation tends to be written into the music, but in the Baroque era, it wasn't always written by the composer. There are lots of different types of ornamentation. One of the most popular kinds is called a trill, and it sounds like this. You can also have mordants, turns, and grace notes, appoggiaturas, and acciaccaturas. Another feature of Baroque music is contrast. Composers often contrast whether it's dynamics, loud and quiet, timbre by changing between instruments, or going from a soloist to an ensemble, or going from one instrument to multiple instruments. Now let's listen to a piece of Baroque music now, and I want you to listen for all of those different features that we've talked about. The mood, what do you think the mood of this piece of music is? Listen out for a melody and accompaniment. See if you can hear the basso continuo, continuous bass line. See if you can hear some ornamentation in the melody. Listen out for those trills, turns, mordants and grace notes. Finally, 
Listen out for contrast in the different sections of music. Remember that composers contrast dynamics and instruments a lot. important to the evolution of music and some of our most famous and well-loved pieces of music come from this era. So this week, see if you can find some more Baroque music to listen to. I'll put some suggestions in the description below, but see if you can find some of your own as well. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so that you'll know when my next video comes. And if you want to help me make more Music with Meg, then please consider leaving a donation via Patreon or PayPal. But for now, have a lovely week, and I'll see you next time. Bye!